Greetings my fellow gamers, and welcome to the Gamer's Refuge. Today we're playing some more Surviving Skyrim, and we're going to start this off with a little bit of a montage, because when I originally tried to record this episode, for some reason, my mic did not turn on. So, um, to sum up what the episode was going to be, um, we, you know, we uh, woke up and... Uh, you know, around the house where we had just built. And we found a letter, you know, mysteriously just dropped on our front doorstep. And upon reading the letter, uh, we discover it's from the Riften City Guard, and they have someone by the name of Inigo in one of their cells. And, you know, they didn't want to lock him up, but, you know, he insisted on them locking him up for whatever reason. So they're asking Kajara to come pick him up because Anigo mentioned him by name. At that point we headed over to Falkreath, you know, to pick up some straw and whatnot so we could make a bed. And we bumped into uh, Kara, Kara Whitefang. How can I assist so, Which you? is somebody from Kajara's past. Uh, he hasn't seen yes. her uh, since you know, since before he left elsewhere, he has her yes. join up with him and follow him and He's all that. Him. And you know, they head back and they get the bed made, and he makes plans to start heading to Riften. Under Wade Riften, um, you know, we we have some issues with wolves, and we even get into it with a bear. <laughs> and if it wasn't for those storm cloaks. You know, um, you know our, our goose would have been cooked. So, but the storm cloaks were actually very helpful. Uh, but, you know, two of them actually gave their lives, you know, during the battle. And but you know, we were able to take down the bear. And then we we continue on to Riften. We see some really beautiful sights, like an old abandoned fort. And then we see this house out on the island in the middle of a lake. Or whatever, and uh, yeah, he comments that you know he would he would love to have a house like that, and whatever, and you know they can they they continue on to Riften. Yeah, upon getting to Riften, of course the guards give him crap at the back Riften. entrance, and he has to go around to the front to the north entrance where they try to extort him. Well, you, you can't con a con well, man, you. you know. You know, Kajara already knows that something's up, that he's they're trying to con him out of his money. So he puts a stop to that really quick, and they open the door for him. So upon getting to the jail, uh, the guy at the jail refuses to acknowledge that they're the ones that actually sent him the letter to sure. come down there, and, and they won't let him in. At least this one, one particular guard won't. So we go to the Bee and Barb Inn in Riften, and go inside to get warm and maybe have a drink or something and uh, we contemplate what we're going to do you know the next day so while they're sitting in the tavern and Kajara has a seat at the table with this uh, lovely young lady and Kara's looking on like she wants to uh, claw her eyeballs out you know Kajara comes to the conclusion that one way or another he's getting in that jail so yeah even even if he has to go Dark Brotherhood on that guard. So, we all know what that means. Me Those are the highlights of the journey over to Riften. So without any further ado, let's continue on. All right. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Uh, no, but you, you, you do seem a little stuck up. All right. What in the name of Oblivion do you want? Uh, for you to quit speaking to me would be nice. Wow. All right. Um, is this our bed? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and get us some sleep, and we're gonna go deal with this guard in the morning. Hey, Kara. I hope you slept well. Let's go head down to the jail and uh, let's see what we can do about that guard. All right, 
priority. Let's see here. Yes. Yes, this looks alright. Yeah. Hey, come in, Kara. Okay, come on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get through to him this time. What are you doing down here? It's like, look, dude, I need to get in there, okay? Sure, and I'm Queen Baron Zaya. Now tell me another one. Look, will, will, will the gold change your mind this time? Sure, that'll do just fine. Go on ahead. Ah, I'll take my leave then. Finally. Let's see here. Is this him? Yeah, you see me over here. Come here. No, you just gonna sit there? Hmm. Well, I mean. The letter did say that they didn't even want him here. So, let's see what we can do about that. Oh, I'm getting low on lockpicks. Oh. Hey, you, you, are you an ego? Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. It, it, what? I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. Uh, okay, do, do you know me somehow? I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. Look, dude, I, I don't even know what you are talking about. You know, it's like, y your name sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't remember you. Who are you? You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. Uh, well, <laughs> you didn't do a very good job, did you? So, why are you sitting here? After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. Okay, well, I mean, if you thought you killed me, then why were you waiting for me? I heard tales of a remarkable adventurer, both brave and resourceful, matching your description. I knew it was you. It had to be. I knew you would be coming for me, so I waited. Are you going to kill me, or not? Kill you for what? I don't even remember anything that happened. I have no reason... I have no reason or desire to kill you right now. I see that I must relive it again. Your memory is not what it was. We met on a job. Okay, what kind of job? The killing kind. We were hired by a lord called Dupin to kill his brothers. With them gone, Dupin would inherit a great fortune and promised us much gold in return. Do you remember none of this? You know, I don't, I don't remember much of anything. But, you know what, it's... You know, it's clear that you're beholding to me now, so... Why don't you come with me, and we will 
We'll figure out a way for you to repay your debt. I fight with you? Yeah, that's right. You know, repay your debt by shedding the blood of my enemies. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this opportunity. It will be like old times. Yeah, well, j just watch where you aim that bow, okay? Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. Oh, good lord. Well, let's go ahead and take Inigo's journal. I'm gonna take Mr. Dragonfly, too. His necklace. Take a book. So oh, some Dwarmer bowls, knife. Oh, he's got some. Uh, he's got some nice stuff in here. Hunting bow, iron armor, steel sword. Oh, I bet. Uh, but this is his. Uh, some of his effects. Get out of there. Ooh, some grilled uh, leeks. Well, I mean, wow. He must really hate the loot. I didn't want the loot, I just wanted the arrow. Why'd the arrows go through the floor? You gotta be joking. All right. Uh, well, I guess I just took the basket too. All right. Well, you know, that's, I guess that's kind of what thieves do. They just take everything that's not nailed down. All right. Um, what's this? No. All right, Inigo. You want to talk? Yeah, I, I need to give some things to you. You give me best equipment, yes? I don't know if it's the best, but it's the equipment you had. So. Oh, well, he's got an ebony sword on him. Wow. Okay, ebony bow. We need to, we need to give him some armor. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll give him storm cloak cape. Okay, let us get back to it. All right, Inigo, come on, buddy. They 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 do not want you here. All right, they sent me a letter. I still don't even I, I still don't even remember all the stuff you're talking about, but you know what? Let's just get out of here. Get out of here before they decide to lock us all up. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Yeah, okay, that, that that's a nice fairy tale. People killing people with their voices. <laughs> Uh, it, really? Uh, have you guys ever heard of anything so ridiculous? All right, come on. All right, guys, look. Um, there, there is another reason why I need to be in Riften anyway. I've heard some rumors, and I, this guy approached me yesterday. You know, at the tavern. He said something about making a lot of money. So, you know what? I think this might be a good opportunity for us. So, I'm going to go talk to him right now. You look unwell, my friend. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't look the best yourself. You look like you got into a, a fight with, well, a, a cat bigger than you. So, come on. Genuine Falmer blood elixir for sale. You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Yeah, okay. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay, why what do you want to plant this ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. 
That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. No shoving. Wow, look at all this stuff. There's the silver ring. You know what? It'd be a shame to leave all this stuff behind. So. Plenty of room. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. And I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerm root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the snow elves? Alrighty, well, we... Let's see here, we need... Is there some Desi's ring? Well, I see that my time is up. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just here. as I promised. Gentle the way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Hmm, well, you could have paid me a little more than that, but eh, I suppose it wasn't very hard. Looking but to stay alive? What do you mean? Why take a chance? Nah, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. Well, I can handle it, trust me. All right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. All right, guys. Uh, it looks like looks like we got we got some work to do. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see a Nord try that. <laughs> they break both their legs. That's that's the nice thing about being cats. Cat, guys, guys, you're cats. You you could you could jump the way I did. You 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 you're a cat. You'll land on your feet. Trust me. Oh. Okay, you been you've been hanging around the humans way too much. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, crouch down and be ready. The way he's talking, sounds like there's going to be some things in here waiting for us. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. Is someone what there? Was that? Really, that went right through his head. I right. knew it. Oof. Come on, come on. Oh, they are done. Guys. Uh, I mean, I appreciate it. But wow, come on. L let me get a shot off too, you know. I like I like killing too. You, know, you guys you guys are just having all the fun. All right, we'll take all your stuff. We'll take all your stuff. Even matter what it is at this point. Ooh, food. 
Mm, we'll take the food. Just anything that can be sold. Oh. Well, this doesn't look too good, guys. Come on. We need to get through here. I don't know what idiot left that up. All right. Well, we'll, we'll come through here. We will deal with this. Looky here. It's a trap. Really, come on. I'm running out of luck picks. That rat. Yeah, you, you, you have met your natural predators. You know what? We're gonna take all this food. They're gonna leave all this food laying around. Oh yes, we will take it. Some gold. All right, they, there's some more here. Is someone there? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, ooh, look at them. Wow, that had to hurt. Looks like it went right, right through a very tender spot. All right, gloves of the pugilist. So we got ale, gold. Hey, you can keep your tunic. I do not want it. Oh, a sweet roll. I'll take your sweet roll. You look like you look like someone just stole your sweet roll. Ha ha ha! I've always wanted to say that to another person. Smart ass guards. Well, guys, I tell you, you uh, I appreciate your loyalty and you're willing to step up, but wow. Well, I mean, I did get a hit. I just, I didn't, I didn't get the kill. I'm saying we're talking like we're in the Dark Brotherhood or something. Yeah, I don't want your clothes. I just want your gold, your hide shield. You keep them nasty boots. Don't want no soot covered boots. I'll take your steel arrow and your axe. And other than that, piss off my friend. And I will take your book. Ooh. Suddenly I feel more confident about picking somebody's pockets. Uh, uh, no, n not yours. I, I, I can get whatever you have anytime I want. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue on. Hey guys, we should probably put our weapons away. I don't think they're going to take too kindly to three cats barging in with weapons strong. You only have a few. Different. We've all heard that one before. Brynjolf. Quit kidding yourself. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Yeah, uh, honestly, this place is a disaster. I don't even know why I came here. If you were expecting a palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Oh, well, for a bunch of successful thieves, uh, you live in a squalor. But you know what? L let's see where this goes. All right. You know, what did, what did these deadbeats do? 
They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. A good place to make some gold. Alrighty. I, I will go do this. Give me their names. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Okay, um, how do you want me to handle these people? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Hmm. All right. I am I getting a cut of this? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Yeah, uh, I'll figure it out. Um, I'm, I'm good at reading people. I'll be here when you're done. Oh, I'm sure you will be. Alrighty. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go do this really quick. I mean, we, 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 we just, we just murdered like four or five people, you know, on our way in here. You know, I, I, th I think we can. I think we can stand with just breaking a couple more legs. Yeah. Ah, here we go. There. Now we won't have that problem of having to go through that. Alright. Come on, guys. Let's go. What is this? Yeah, I, th I think this is... This is one of the guys. Yeah, right here. Oh, hello. Hello. It's rather rude being right in someone's face like that. Look at this. Very nice. That's a nice... That is a nice fuzz. What do you, what do you guys think? Isn't that a nice fuzz? I don't look like I'd take much for it to just go to pieces. Alrighty. So, can I interest you in anything today? Yeah. I'm delivering a message for Brynjolf. You know, the guy you owe money to? What? What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? It's, it's really simple. You pay up, or bad things happen to you. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. You can't even protect yourselves! Oh, we can protect ourselves just fine, buddy. Trust me on that one. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Yeah. Uh, I think I've had enough of this idle, this pointless banter. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Oh yes. But before I do. I can't pay. I can't. Yeah, really? Oh my word. What? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you'll just have to make do without my coin. I can't pay. I can't. Alright, I I need I need something better than this. Yeah, it's it's like I'm it's like I'm hitting it with a toy. Yeah, woodcutter's axe. My that will do the trick. Watch it. I can't. Just pay them, Bercy. There, look at there. See, I improved it. This place looks friendly enough. Yeah. Maybe we should. It is now easier to move because you can now move it in pieces. Now, no. give me the money. Bird was priceless. Or do you want me to break something else? Like your worthless neck? Alright, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. 
Ah, oh, righty then. Well, let's get back to the bow. All right, guys. Um, yeah, put your weapons away. We're, we're done here. We don't. We, we don't have to kill them. Uh, not right now, at least. Let's go. Yeah. Hey guys, come on. Let's let's go. I want to go as quickly as possible. Where is... Where's the nigga? Hey, nigga. Nigga? Well, you know what? Uh, a, a nigga will catch up. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, we, we will save this one for last. Where is the other one? Be the one. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Bar. This place is for the working man. <laughs> well, we can see what she's into. Wow. But I, I have a disease that needs to be cured anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, do it that bad. Wow, look at the... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we, we should probably go. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is not good. Um, yeah, let's just talk to her. What did you want? Hey, you got all kinds of weird crap going on here. Look, uh, I have a message from Brynjolf. You need to pay up. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Ah, uh, yes. But, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not about the money. You know, this is about respect. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll, I'll pay next month. Well, uh, you know, patience has run out. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Oh, well, you know, we'll just have to find other ways to get through to you. What are you people doing sitting hey, there? don't look at me that way. Who are so what if I have a problem? Working at the Rifting Fishery to is tough. I had to put some coin in my pocket. Really. What are you doing that for? You didn't see nothing. You understand that? Maramal thinks he's so smart. Open he your mouths. And I will rip your like eyeballs you. out and Poor stuff them up your noses. Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Yeah, well, maybe I should go drop this down the well or something. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. If Ripton is the best Skyrim has to offer, next time I, well I throw you down right the well. And just head for home. Oh. Guys, I don't. I don't know what's coming over me. Eh. I talk like I'm a member of the Dark Brotherhood or something. Just, I don't know, old... Old habits are sometimes hard to break. Where is Inigo? Inigo, where, where is he? Did he... Is he still at the pawn shop? My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Rift Inigo, and not enough about what himself. are you doing? Mr. Dragonfly would like to take a moment to remind you that he is invaluable and irreplaceable. What the... What are you talking about? Um, I, I need you to come with me. Alright, come on. Okay, then. Alright, we, we need to go.
All right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we we got we got stuff we got to do, man. All right. We got one last stop. Now you you should have seen the last one, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we we accidentally went into her bedroom. I I I can't even tell you the things that uh, me and Kara saw. It was just it, it was weird, man. These this is a this town has weird people. Very weird. Uh well, hopefully it doesn't get any weirder. We 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 need to go in here and uh settle this last debt. appreciate the room and you being so nice to me but you have a debt you need to pay to Brynjolf I'm here to collect look everything was all just a misunderstanding I, I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier you tell him I'm sorry yes take this every single coin I owe is there I swear it uh, thank you Kirava so I'm glad we got that taken care of. I actually kind of like you. You've been very nice to me. All right. Visiting Riften? All, All right, guys, come on. Let's go. Yeah, Inigo. Yeah, yeah, come on. Kara, you... What are you doing? Oh, good lord. You fall way too far behind. We will need to... Uh, you know, get you up to speed. All right, guys, I'm taking the quick way down. You do what you want. Yeah, well, you know, might as well put the weapons away, guys. I don't even know why I pulled mine out. We've we've already killed everyone in here. Well, at least most everyone, I think. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. Brynjolf. Me and my so, group of thieving John's cats are back. You even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping okay. bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Yeah, well, here's what they here's what they owed you. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Potions. I'd rather have the gold. No wonder, no wonder you people are so unsuccessful. You you don't know how to do business. All right. Well, what do, what what do you got next? And it better pay. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Well, if there's some actual gold in it this time, then you can count me in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood, the telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Uh, look, I need to ask you something. What's on your mind? Yeah, word's going around that you're not doing good. Yeah, I mean, take a look around. I tend to believe them. Yeah, is it, is what they say true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Yeah, it's not a good way to do business, man, but it'll have to be good enough for now. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? All right, guys, come on. Uh. I suppose I can work Who with the your face. Hell? After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Do not interrupt me. I'm in, I'm conducting business. Piss off. And I'm hungry. I'm a hungry, angry, grumpy cat who just got screwed out of his gold. I swear these thieves better start paying. You know what? Screw it. I've had a rough day. I'm eating the sweet roll. Yeah, 
Maybe if I'm nice enough to him, maybe he'll actually pay me. If not, well then maybe I'll go join the Dark Brotherhood and I'll come back and pay my regards to him. Man, where is all this coming from? Hmm. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, well, I guess, I guess so. I guess so. I'll, I'll agree for now. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? No, oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. All right, well, just let me know one thing. How do I get paid? Because I don't want to get screwed again. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh. And talk to Tunelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Alrighty, well... Hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. Come back here. Really? And you're gonna walk away from me? The nerve of this guy. Hey! The Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Okay, and um, what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Hmm. Well, I suppose if, uh... If it would piss off the client, I guess that means we don't want to do it. So, makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Uh, wh what do you want me to do with Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Yeah. Alrighty, well, I think we're good then. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Yeah, well, neither do I. Well, that's all I got for now, for this one. Um, I think we've made a decent bit of progress uh, and stuff. We got, we're getting started with the Thieves' Guild because, well, I mean, Kajara's a thief. You know, not much of a thief if, you know, you ain't got people you can sell your stolen goods to. So, uh, but from the way he's been acting in this episode, it kind of seems like he should be joining the Dark Brotherhood instead. <laughs> uh, you know, Kajara apparently does have a bit of a mean streak. But, you know, oh, and um, the one thing I do want to tell you about uh, Kara White Fang is I'm sure you know you already have figured this out she is not a vanilla follower 
um, she is a modded follower. And she is a modded follower that I made. So she just basically uses generic voice, you know, voice dialogue, stuff like that. It's, it's nothing special. But I did make her and whatnot and, you know, trying to get the, the grip on making decent followers. So, and hopefully I'll, I will be improving her AI as we go, as I figure out how to do it. So, but other than that, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And as always, I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch my videos. And until the next time, I will see you in the games.